Hi right, guys, it's Dave at the Humble Trekker Channel. How are you doing today? Doing a little bit of uh, char making, experimenting with char cloth and different types of uh, flint and steel and quartz and steel today. I've got three different tins for making char cloth in, a spice tin, a Vaseline tin and a tea tin. I've got two different materials that I'm going to be making char with. I've got denim. And I've got denim in the first uh, shot will be in the Vaseline tin and the spice tin and I've also got a whoops, a thinner cotton material from an old pair of pyjamas which is going to be in the uh, screwed down Yeti tea, finish the Yeti tea, the old grey, delicious, going to drink some more later, I've got some more tea bags with me, this is an old tin. Um, there were small holes made in all the tins, which is not really necessary, but it does stop the caps popping off. I've got a fire burning over there, so let's get these on the fire and start the charcoal off making. So I've got the fire going here in this fireplace, and I'm just going to put the tins in the fire and let them cook up. Let the cotton material char and for between four to six minutes I'll see how I think it's going after four to six minutes and then take it out. I'm going to be testing fire making with that char cloth I just made with my collection of fire steels. I've got the SE fire steel, I've got a Pathfinder fire steel or just steel I've got my titanium fire steel which I got from uh, sent to be my mic cheers Mike for that. still using it going strong and I've got the hand forged by Peter Zarbo steel nice looking kind of uh, Viking looking style four different steels well four steels and one titanium See which ones perform the best. Retrieve them from the fire. Try not to burn in yourself in the process. So a couple of sticks, just chopsticks, helps with this. Or even be fast in and out with your leather gloves. Ouch. Don't open the tins as soon as you get them out. Because if the oxygen goes in there, they'll explode into flames. I left the tins on for about five minutes. The Yeti tea, that one actually interesting, completely split. Started to burn and split up on its own accord. And it's gonna be, just gonna have to, oh, but the char cloth has come out very nicely. This was the, the plain cotton pajamas char cloth. The spice tin survived very nicely. And in there, that was the denim. A little bit tougher char cloth. Looks like it's okay. Maybe could have been left in a little bit longer. A bit tightly packed. We'll see how that goes. It's a little bit uncharred there, but that makes it a little bit more robust. We'll see how it goes when I start to burn it. Push that back in. And there was the Vaseline tin also with denim. Uh, that wasn't so packed in. So that's a nice, this looks like the best. Robust and well charred. We'll kick off the match with a piece of flint and the Peter's elbow. And I'll take the plain cotton char cloth. And a nice edge. A nice edge that should do. I'll put the char cloth on the bottom. Boom. One and away. So obviously you put that in a bird's nest. I'll stamp it out well, make sure it doesn't start a fire so Let's go to let's try the SE. 
the same piece of cotton char cloth. Yup, two hits. Boom, Brittany. Down, stamp on it, rub it into the damp grass. Try the Pathfinder. Cotton char cloth, plain cotton. few more strikes but there we go that's good there let's try the titanium one the titanium one it gives you big globs of sparks but big globs of sparks but you have to strike it right on a very sharp piece of the rock otherwise it don't work so it gives you hotter bigger sparks when it works but to get it to work is the trick don't know if that picked up on the camera, but you see you get a big glob off of it. Of course, a pro tip, don't strike a very sharp flint rock with your forefinger. There we go. Thought I was on fire. Actually, what's happening is the sparks are flying straight through the char cloth. They're going straight through it. They're like bursting through it as a whole. So let me take some of the denim char cloth. Denim, of course, is cotton. So a little bit cotton, but I call it denim so you know it's not the straight up thin cotton shirt material, pajamas material. That's just, this is made really nice char cloth because it's robust, it doesn't fall apart in your fingers. But, maybe I'm speaking too soon, it should still catch a spark and take light well. I just don't get on with this titanium one. Let me go back to steel. So it's a slower burn on this thicker, more robust. You see it burning beautifully there. Just one or is it maybe two strikes from the Peter's elbow on the denim. Let's try a bit of, um, change the rock or go to the I forgot what it was called. Denim, Peter's Arbo, hand forged. Getting sparks. Maybe the sparks aren't quite as hot because they're not catching. There we go. There one caught. That one caught. So it burns more, burns slower in more controlled manner, I believe, on the denim. Char cloth, nice. nice. I didn't get a fire going with the titanium. Let me try again with the titanium. Maybe you can call it usurer, but I don't think it is. I just don't think it's the titanium steel, so it's good. Uh, I said they give you big globs of sparks, but just one if you hit it right on the right edge. Where if the the uh, the steel, that's more of like a scattergun, a shotgun approach. You get a lot of sparks and they go everywhere. Not quite as hot in there, not as big. But actually, I've never used titanium on quartz. So let's go back to the flint because I know that works.
Life's too short for this. Try the Essie. Well, that should give me a sharp edge now. There we go. It's important to have good technique, good fast movement here, and also make sure you strike a sharp edge of your rock. Get your fires going. The uh, the denim that didn't quite properly char, as you see, is still quite pale there, it's not completely black. Let's try getting that to take, see what happens. Using the Peters Arbo steel, carbon steel, hand forged, biking style. Took on the edge, which is the very charred part of it. Couldn't get the take on the middle. Let me rip that off. Try and get it. I'll see. I'm an experiment to see if I can get a take on this bit, which isn't, which isn't really charred. Bring in the, the Essie. It's a little bit heavier, it's a little bit more momentum, it feels nice in the head. Let's go back to a charred piece, properly charred piece, just to make sure I've not lost the Technique here. I think this is a very good edge. Let me move it. Oh, I did so. Did take. Try a sharper edge of the stone. It's a number of variables when you're using the flint and steel and char cloth. I mean, you can see the sparks flying off it. No, poorly charred cloth. This isn't working very well. Probably if you kept at it, you could get it to take a light, but it's no win. You can see with your own eyes there. It's nowhere near taking a spark as easily as the properly charred stuff. Thanks for watching guys. That was just a little video opportunity there, messing around with some different char materials, some different flints. I mean, a different flint, a uh, quartz rock, and different steels, different tins for charring in. Just uh, on this little camp out here we got going. Just passing the time. Quite interesting, to me anyway. Take it easy.